And this morning we are off to a gloomy start. In fact, we are still hanging on to some of that cloud cover. We do have a chance to see sunshine later today as those conditions remain dry. So here's a live look at NIU and DeKalb. Plenty of cloud cover overhead. We are getting closer and closer to seeing some of that sun, however. You'll see that especially on exact track. Nice and quiet, so we're dry for the rest of your Wednesday. But you notice the make, break, I should say, in the clouds there just off to the west. That's going to slowly start to move in as the clouds start to move out. So just a little longer and we'll get some glimpses of that sunshine later today, especially once we get closer to the middle of your afternoon. That's also when temperatures are going to climb. We'll reach through the upper 30s over the next few hours, 42 degrees by three o'clock and then slowly but surely starting to drop, but still hanging on to the low 40s at least through 5 p.m. We'll continue to see a little bit of that cloud cover exit, allowing that sunshine to return. And speaking of cloud cover, we've had a very cloudy and just downright dreary month. January, we saw 20 days of cloudy skies, eight days partly cloudy and just two with sunny skies, so definitely in need. And we've all been missing a lot of that sunshine. Luckily, we are on track to see more sunnier days in the month of February as we continue to stay quiet with that quiet pattern settling in. And luckily, we are going to stay quiet, but it does look like in terms of that flood advisory, we saw it's been canceled. We saw that flooding occurring thanks to an ice jam, and that ice jam has been breaking up, allowing that water to start to recede. So flooding is no longer a threat. We saw that right into that county line with Ogle and Lee just to the south of Oregon and north of Dixon. So no longer seeing that advisory in effect. That is the good news as we continue to stay quiet and awaiting that sunshine. We'll slowly transition to partly cloudy skies, a little bit of a breeze, but still hanging on to some of that cloud cover. Then into tonight, we drop into the mid 30s, a little bit more cloud cover returns and it sticks with us into the end of our week, but we are still going to stay quiet. That is thanks to this blocking pattern that's setting up with a wavy jet stream. So it's really just going to trap that area of high pressure right over our heads, allowing for not only quiet weather, but those above average average temperatures to also stick around for several days. And you'll see that as we continue to stay above average over the next few days, even into the weekend. Take a look at Saturday. We are going to be nearly 20 degrees above average, and that's when we're going to get close to the 50s. Then we continue to drop off just some back into the 40s, but still staying well above average, at least 10 degrees above average moving forward as we continue to see the 40s settling in. So all in all, we're nice and quiet. Little sunshine later, a little bit more cloud cover to round out your week for Groundhog's Day as well. But sunshine is going to be back with us into the weekend. So are the upper 40s, 49 degrees for Saturday. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, we'll see some sun into next week as well. Still, well, you guessed it, dry. It's really not until the end of that extended forecast do we get closer and closer to some chances for showers. Manny.